this? Wolfenstein scripts? Looks like I got my work cut out. The Wolfenstein franchise, what is there to say? You helped make the first person shooter genre what it is today, be it good or bad. For those of you who don't know the backstory, I'll shed some light on the series. Most may not know this, but Wolfenstein 3D is not the first game in the series. The real first Wolfenstein game was released in 1981 called Castle Wolfenstein. It was released for the Apple II and written by a guy named Silas Warner. This game concentrated on the use of stealth and nonviolent methods. Speaking of, this game actually is the pioneer of the stealth genre. Wait a minute, that's debatable. Most people would argue that Metal Gear Solid is the true pioneer of stealth games because more people have played that game in comparison to Castle Wolfenstein. Going back to the history, the game had a sequel called Beyond Castle Wolfenstein, released in 1984. Unlike Castle Wolfenstein, this one saw releases on multiple platforms including Commodore 64, Atari 8-bit, and DOS. Following Commander Keen's success, it started to go to work on their next big hit, Wolfenstein 3D. John Carmack started to play around with the 3D engine, and the end result was Hover Tank 3D and Catacomb 3D. But instead of making the game family friendly, the company decided to make the game more mature and violent. Taking the idea from the 1981 game and making it into a shooter spelled success for the company, thanks to John Romero's suggestion of making the game fast paced. Add in designer Tom Hall and Bobby Prince's music and sound, and you get the masterpiece called Wolfenstein 3D. Like Commander King before, you can get a free copy of the first episode to garner interest, and if interested, buy the full game. But there was something unusual about Wolfenstein 3D. The episodes aren't in linear order. What I mean is that episode 1 is actually episode 4. Yeah, did you know? This game? Never mind. I'm not here to lecture about every little detail of Wolfenstein 3D. That take all day. So here's the real question. Does this game still live up today like it did 25 years ago? The answer is yes. This game is still as fun to play now as it was back in 1992. The game has a special charm that carries it throughout time and... Jeez, this game knows how to lecture you with its history. I seriously need to get back to the review. And I'm not going to be reviewing individual episodes like I did with the Keen games. Okay, seducing elements aside, Wolfenstein 3D is all about one thing, fun, and this game delivers. From finding secrets to shooting down Nazis to weird boss fights, Wolfenstein 3D made history. While the graphics aren't special, this game wasn't about eye candy, it was about fast-paced action while navigating a three-dimensional space. To clarify, I'm talking about the X, Y, and Z coordinates. While many would argue that this isn't true 3D, it's more like 2.5 dimension, a 3D environment with 2D sprites. While there isn't much to the strategy, you also can't go in guns blazing. You have to be ready at all times, especially on harder difficulties. As far as mechanics go, you get a health status along with an avatar to show how much damage you're taking, ammo, score, keys, and lives. This may not seem too important by today's standards, but back then, this is what made the first person shooter a first person shooter. Phew, that's a lot to talk about. With that out of my system, now I can concentrate on the game. Like I said, this game's emphasis is on action and it delivered. Along the way, you'll come across really well hidden areas that have movable walls. Find the wall and take the price behind it, be it extra ammo, health, treasures, or the rare extra life. Once in an episode, you'll come across an optional secret level. Complete it for a huge bonus. At the end of the ninth level, you'll come across a boss. Beat it and you beat the episode. Yeah! The enemies are also worth noting, from your average guards to the elite SS, there's no shortage of enemies to kill. Perhaps the weirdest of all are the mutants with guns attached to their chests. The biggest flaw this game has is that there is no mini-map. You feel like a rat in a rat maze. You either have to download all the maps or use your laptop or mobile device to pull up the maps. Boy, that was quite a task, but it's not over by a long shot. I still got a lot more games to play and a lot more work ahead, so I'll end part one right here. Now what? I'll be back again. Can I help you? I don't care. Is this another assassination attempt? No, I want directions to the nearest hospital. Really? Prepare to die. <coughs> they never learn. Stick around for part two when I talk about Spear of Destiny.